All right, I don't know who started over that timer, but it wasn't me. I swear to goodness. Let's put on a little music. Ooh. Beats with Kev on the pretzel. Happy Tuesday, everybody. How are you feeling today? <gasps> Hank D. Gorilla has just gotten into magic. Oh, gosh. I need to open up our YouTube chat window. Because uh, we're restreaming all the way over onto YouTube today. It's a big day. This is the first time. Dual stream. Hey, hey. The whole gang's all here. Hello. Gang's are all here. All right. Uh, so I've been playing, trying to make this card Vito work. I'll show you. It's got a longer name than that. Do I remember the whole name? No, I don't. Uh, but you know what? When it works, it works. Love me some life gain decks. Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Like his pal Alinda. Those thorny, dusky roses. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Hold on. Just grabbing this YouTube chat. We got Mewful and Chris and Nightcat in both chats. Is that what's happening here? Y'all crazy. Okay. I just, you know, I thought... Try something different. Just, just go and try something over here. Okay. Uh, so this game deck is all about gaining life. Uh, and let's just play a little bit. You'll, you'll understand once you see it. Me, words, explaining things. That's not how I work. <gasps> Army of gnomes has set off the the hype train. The hype trains are rolling. Andy, keeping it rolling. Three months, that's so, so many months. Indeed it is. All right, hold on. We're getting a little text-to-speech-ish. You know what? Alert box, hello. Tell me things. I'm going to get a window that's going to do all the things. We're just going to get a little, little uh, alert box going. Got to log in. Got to log in. Well, I've rearranged my office space again. There's a pillow over here. I hope you guys noticed. The pillow is for you, for ambiance. Uh, big moves, big money moves. I know this is very unimportant, but I saved money and ordered a magic set in real life to get more into the game, and now they lost it, and it's been that way for a week, and I can't get refunded for some reason. I'm going to cry. Also, I talk way too much. Well, Mewful... That's a, a butthole bummer. That's a butthole bummer. We got to send you some more cards. You want paper cards. You want real life paper cards. Konnichiwa. Okay, well, you know what, Mufo? You need to send me a message. We were chatting on Instagram, so let's, let's chat over there. And you let me know what I can send you. Oh, Zigmover says, Konnichiwa, Bekasama. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having an amazing day and an amazing stream. Today is my Pug Frodo's sixth birthday. Something to celebrate. His order's not mine. Zigmover. Or rather, I should say Frodo. An honor to get Frodo's birthday sub. Wow. That's a good pup right there. That's a real good pup. <laughs> Thanks, Zigmover. Oh gosh, we're not even start. We're not even. We're not doing the thing. Let's go to. What happens if we go? Did I put? Because uh, TTS, TTS is, fun. is fun. And if, and I, if don't I don't TTS, TTS I'll be told I'm, I'm doing, doing TTS, TTS wrong, upside, wrong down upside down face. So TTS, TTS to the TTS, TTS grin. grin. You're doing it right, Agents Fire and Agents Fire. I hope you got my email. I swear it's not spam. It looks like spam, but you get a special email that may or may not include a special video because uh, you may or may not be a patron. I added you. I did it. I did it right there. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't reveal your patron status, but uh, we are on Patreon. We meaning Good Time Society, uh, which is my little YouTube studio making board game videos. Are they not signing for deliveries where you are? Oh, gosh. 
You know, we don't sign for deliveries unless it's alcohol or unless you specially request that you want to sign. And that's only some places that let you do it. You know what I realized? I maybe don't have text-to-speech set up on my widgets. So let's fix that, shall we? Hello? Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Can we do this? Huh? <gasps> Alert box. Hello. I want text to speech for everything, including resubs. Let's go to resubs and get that resub message. Yes, show the message. Uh, text to speech, please. It's not giving me an option. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Why would it think I want no sound? Of course, I want a sound. All right, well, that's a whole thing. That's a whole bucket to un, un, to dump. What do you do with a bucket? Where's this metaphor going? I don't know. All I know is that Kabuki One is here, so now the party can get started. Okay, so let's go back to this here live scene. Because you know what? I want to show you guys these vampires. Uh-oh, hype train, 83%. Hype train's going. A minute and 40 seconds. Keep that hype train rolling. Sunderworld has subbed with Twitch Prime. Oh my god, Sunderworld, thank you! How's my fake yellow? It wasn't too loud, right? It's a skill. It's a finely crafted skill. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so yeah, we're we're getting dodgy alerts to come to come gather round the stream. Gather round, everyone. It's because I'm trying a new situation, streaming to a platform called Restream, and then they send it out to Twitch and YouTube, so that way we can get it going two places. Gosh, this one piece of hair is bothering me. If only I couldn't see myself, I'd I'd futz way less. You know, you get long hair, and you're gonna futz. It's just the thing. It's a thing you futz with. <laughs> well, nothing's fake about you, Sundar. Everything here is real. Andy sent me a message. Okay. I'll remember to check the Discord. Uh, Rotten Poppy stream. <laughs> with a name like Rotten Poppy, I, I think it, it, can, it can get intense, I would imagine. You know what? We're lucky here that all y'all are real nice folks. Okay. Oh, interesting. Twitch don't like their partners doing this. Okay, well, we'll just do it for today, and then we'll change it up later on. Look, I don't know what I'm supposed to do and not do. I don't read things. You can't be a accountable for laws and rules you never read or paid attention to. That is the policy of the American government, and that is my policy here. How was my weekend? The, um, we're already well into the week. I can't even remember now at this point. I think it involved a lot of Animal Crossing. In fact, a whole day's worth. And then uh, we played over on Q Times. I don't know if y'all know about this, but Q Times is a super sweet um, twitch.tv slash Q Times, spelled like, you know, the English word for line. Uh, and it was a blast. They raised a ridiculous amount of money to uh, pay their role players and continue with the seasons for shows like Clear Skies, which is the Star Trek show that. All of our friends are on. Twitch laws are a brave new world. Hi, DXZ. I'm doing well, and I hope you are too. Murderers didn't get the memo. Murders are illegal. That's what I'm saying. They can't be held accountable if you didn't know the law, right? You gotta prove that I read it somewhere. That's how, that's how the law seems to be working. All right. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna play now. If everyone... Uh, is okay with that high Russ. Okay, so to be honest, I, I haven't been doing great with this deck, but I like it. I'm having fun with it. Okay, this may make things go insane, but I would like to monitor. Gosh, that's going to not work. All right. <sighs> I can't have it all, you know? 
black magic device monitor on audio is always an issue for me so if i'm capturing this audio and playing it back for myself then it's playing on my desktop and then my desktop audio capture is replaying it so you're gonna get the music twice i don't even know if it's working tech okay let's play the game tell me if it sounds crazy I'm not hearing a thing. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna play a cat. The idea of this deck is to gain a bunch of life and to get out Vito, the dusky rose, and he says anytime you gain life, your opponent loses that much life. Oh, our opponent is playing Boros Cycling, which is the funnest deck ever. I wonder why it went out of vogue. Did people just get bored because it was like too easy to win every game with it? Or is there some sort of disruption? You know, maybe I need Soul Guide Lantern in here. So, um, um, I really want to draw a card. That's what I would like to do. And so let's get that going. Oh, it's an instant. I shouldn't have played it on my turn. I've got lots of life gain, so I'm not really worried. Oh, more hype train. We got this emote of a brain. Choo choo hype brain. Okay, so Oath of Kaya is a little past her prime in being able to get rid of that flourishing fox. The indulging patrician is fine. You know what? Target creature could get minus two, and I gain two life. That's not going to do it either. So I guess we just got to kill their valiant rescuer. Pretty rainbow coffee cup. David Flakel. Hi. Thank you for 43 months of subbing. That's a good amount of months, I must say. Oh, let us lean back. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Hey, you know what? I think let's take this creature card with converted mana cost. Oh no, 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 Okay. Well, now uh, it's gotten out of hand for many reasons, but I can kill their flourishing fox and only take five. So we'll just keep looking for the card that really makes my deck sing. We're gonna make that two for X, and we're gonna kill this flourishing fox. Just auto pay. And now we can still play a kitty. How about we just chump block with the kitty? Hi, Sean. How are you doing today? Kaya's Wrath? Well, here's the thing I'm playing a creature deck, it just doesn't look like it ever. Oh, you know what? I don't even care about six damage. What is six damage? I'm going to gain all that life back. So what I want is Vito to come into my hand and really revitalize as my best card draw card. I'm not sure what this deck needs, but it doesn't need a Fabled Passage right now. I can tell you that. All right, I want to draw more cards. 
gonna grab another swamp because Bolus's Citadel is in this deck. And that's gonna let us play a bunch of cards off the top of our library by paying life for them. Hmm. We can gain six life. But that's only good if Vito's out. So I guess we'll just throw out this little patrician. This fancy lady, she's a vampire. Nice sleeves, though, you like that? I think it's the only sleeve I ever bought with gems. I just thought they were fancy. All right, well, I don't... I think I gotta hang back and we'll let our kitty die to the flourishing fox next turn. Oh boy. They zenithed me. Grim Tutor could be helpful since it doesn't really matter. Oh, they had two. Well, that's no good for me. Okay. Well, it makes me want to play Boros Cycling, but here we are. We're gonna make this work. What? is TTS. I thought that stood for text-to-speech. What are you asking me, Liam? The reason cycling went out of fashion was because of two things. People thought it would be too weak without Luris, which I disagree. Yeah, Luris was always an afterthought with that deck anyways. It was really strong against Fires of Invention because it hit the ground running. It could efficiently kill their planeswalkers and outpace their creatures most of the time. Well, we could play a little, but you know what? I titled the deck trying to make this work. Now my friend Langston went platinum with this deck which I've already made a bunch of changes to because he had 24 lands. He had more disfigure but he said he, this deck got him there. Actually I added in the blood burger lure because I felt like it was um let me put it back to where he had it. I felt like it was too spell heavy and not enough creatures. Uh, the really key cards here are Vito and Ill-Gotten Inheritance. So, I don't know. Let's just try a couple matches. Uh, it's just that I played this... I played against uh, several control decks in a row, and I was like, it doesn't work. He said he has 75% win rate with it. And I told him. He'd be crazy. I also added in Murderous Rider because I played against some like Super Friends decks. Basically, I just kept adding things and changing this deck completely. He had four disfigures. So yeah, we can, I, I wanna make Vito work. Oh gosh, y'all, VR, what are we talking about? Tabletop simulator, ah, no, I, uh, the, the board game I've played most recently would be um, Lords of Waterdeep, and they have an excellent version on Steam. Um, you know, I've just played around a little bit with TTS, other TTS, okay. So, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Vampire of the Dire Moon, and then you've got Soren that can cheat out the Bloodthirsty Aerialist. I don't know why you would. No, it can cheat out Vito. But really, Soren is good for getting an expensive vampire out early. So, I wonder if there's an expensive vampire that we want to add in here. Soren Vengeful Bloodlord gives everybody a lifelink. That's fun. I think we want Vengeful Bloodlord in here. Maybe lose an ill-gotten inheritance. Maybe lose unexpected fangs. Let's see. What do we guys think of this deck? What do we guys think? Uh, you know what? If we're going to put another four drop in there, then we can give it... That's 22 lands. Then we need one more card. I wish there were other creatures we were looking to put in here. But one blood burglar sounds just wrong. So maybe... Ugh. The problem is that there's these Teferi mill decks and Eliminate just doesn't work on those planeswalkers so that's why i think we need another murderous rider he's not a vampire though so it kind of ruins the synergy on that the vest vampires for soren are in historic really yeah yeah 
Oh gosh, <gasps> terraforming Mars on Steam. Oh my goodness, I could definitely do with some terraforming Mars practice. Soren, I see you're an Orzov card. It's black white. That's why you weren't in this deck. Silly me. Okay, so I don't think I want Soren in here. I want to protect my cards and I want to bring them back from the graveyard in some way. Anybody have any suggestions? I think this would be like an instant or sorcery, maybe. Or, you know, ravens could be good, but really we need to. I think we need more card draw, and I think that's Bolus Citadel. Are we playing best of ones or full matches? Revenge, revival revenge, double your life total. Yeah, okay, well, let's make that work. Hmm. 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 I think I completely cut a card, too. Oh, not there. Um, then I want to put back. Okay, it was, oh, Fangs. I don't think Fangs is a great card. But we'll try it. In fact, we won't try it. I lied. Okay, this is... Oh, Emberglow's got the Alpha of Gloonhaven on Steam recently. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be good. ASMR? Always. Always. I like to get right up on the microphone. Okay, so let's check in on our other buddy, Soren, Mr. Vengeful Bloodlord. Oh gosh, he's expensive. Now, do we want him more than a Johnny? This can bring things back from the graveyard. And this uh, creates a Johnny Pride Mates. And a bunch of life gain. I think I want to try putting Soren in here instead. Alright, so Speaker of the Heavens, I'm not sure I want to spend my uh, last two rare cards buying a bunch of this, but it's it's should be a four of in this deck. It's just not in mine. We've got Revitalize, Heliod's Intervention, but really all of this centers around Vito being able to get out there. Indulging Patrician is basically just a filler card. So maybe we put revenge in here. Okay, now this feels expensive. So let me count my my uh, lands. Just 22. I don't know if that's enough lands. Should we go? You're listening to All Cards Considered, NPR's number one show about Magic the Gathering. That's right. Um, so we have 22 lands. Hmm. It's not ASMR if you're screaming. That's exactly the opposite. Okay, let's just play this and see what happens. It may not have enough lands. Witch's Cottage. That can dig something out of the graveyard and put it on the top of our deck, right? I just... I uh, had problems going against Mill with this deck. And so I don't want something slow enough... Slow as... Um, Witch's Cottage. Although I do love the idea of a Witch's Cottage in general. Okay. So we've got our veto. We've got a slow start with these fabled passages. But I'm just going to keep it. I'm trying to sound like a late night DJ, so I'm glad that's working out. I'm going to move my camera here. Oh shoot, it's my turn. Okay. Let's go get a swamp. We are playing against Glory Find. Glorify Glorified. Well, they're not doing anything this turn. Yeah, with Citadel we should get 24 lands, eh? Maybe so, maybe so. So let's try. Well, this is pretty exciting. Look who came to the party. Okay, 
So I'm hoping we get an untapped land next turn because then we can get veto online. Now they're probably playing shock because they're playing is it colors. But hmm, I think they have some red removal in their deck. How do you now about that YouTube channel shown on the screen? What what are you asking me, DXC? I want to answer. It's their turn, so they are probably waiting to shock me. So you know what? Let's go ahead and untap. They're making me nervous that they didn't do anything there. Shoot, no untap land here. So we'll play Temple of Silence and chill. What's on top? The YouTube channel is my YouTube channel. Ooh, okay. I like gaining three life and putting a creature out, so I'll just keep Charming Prince on top. That works for me. I know that my Cauldron Familiar didn't get a chance to attack, um, but they're just making me nervous with that one red open, you know? Fancy Frenchman. Okay, so are you guys getting a weird audio reverb thing? Whenever you cast a creature spell, put a wall encounter, it's right dragon. Non creature. Ride, ride, ride. Dorat the sprite dragon. He's a naughty little boy. Hey, how about. Mm. Okay. I killed him. It's a very efficient removal spell. Okay. You know what? I completely did not kill Cauldron Familiar before I <laughs> went on to my turn. What's the YouTube channel about? We uh, make all kinds of weird videos. You can find old sketches of mine, as well as more recently, actual real uh, not silly board game tutorials. Okay, they're pretty silly. Okay, back up. Remember to freaking do your cat oven combo if you're trying to ping them to death. You know what, it matters more than Vito's out now. Gruesome Menagerie. Oh, I don't know that card. I gotta look it up. <gasps> no, don't do it. I swear to God, if they shock my cat. I guess technically I should have killed Vito, but I just wanted the extra pings. Okay. They did not use the shock. Dig it. Um, well, I guess... I guess I want to scry now. Of course, I could have Castle Arden Veiled. I could Charming Prince. No, get rid of these things. I don't want that. I want another Veto. How long have you been playing? Uh, about 2017, 2018 with the release of Arena. Drake. Well, now they've spent their mana. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, 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 well. You know what? Oath of Kaya is not going to kill it. So, I'm going to need them to fall for my jump blockers. Or I'm just going to I'm just going to swing and see if they go for it, and then I will Oath of Kaya their crackling drake if they do. Oh my gosh, you're so annoying. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, not enough for that. Okay, so let's just swing. You know I've got a spell in hand, or else I wouldn't be tempting you in this way. I wish I had more card draw options. Yeah, that's right. Either they fall for it. Ooh. Well, bums. But now I can bring the cat back, so that's fun. Thank you. Storm Wing Entity. Flying Prowess. That's a new one. This way. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to enter Scry 2. So Prowess means you get a plus one till end of turn. Oh, that rope pissed me off. Uh, you get a plus one till one end of turn if you play an instant or sorcery. Or rather, a non-creature spell. Okay, coming at me. Before that, let me just hope they don't have another shock. You know what? There was no reason for me to do this because I'm not going to be swinging. Oh well. Do you want to shock? They're going to shock. Oh, they did. So, bummer. I guess we castle Ardenvale. I don't know if I have the black castle in this deck. I did in my mono black deck, but not sure. Seven mana draw half your deck. <laughs> oh, that's true. I've seen that combo with the new Teferi card in a wild way. No attacks. Oh yeah? In response to you tapping that flying creature, I'm gonna put it on the ground token. Hi Sprinkles, good to see you. Demigod, what's up? Tiramisu! Mm, delicious, my favorite. Oh my gosh, they are infuriated with their prowess. I could use a, a creature with reach. Oh man. Okay. Wow, that's a 7-6. Mm-hmm. Dang, I need to draw good cards, please. I don't I don't think this deck can do it. Honestly, I just want to play some Simic. Some Simic Flash. I was thinking, I was playing for hours trying to build a Soul Tide deck, and I think just classic, like Nyssa and uh, some counter spells and Wicked Wolf and Frilled Mystic. Now those are the only cards you need. Vito, where are you? You know what? That was a bad choice because I could revitalize and draw Veto, and then the Cauldron Familiar would have done a lot more. Luckily, it's just sweet baby planes. 
Do I even play it? One, two, three, four. Nah. Nah. Let's hold it and look intimidating. Andy posted a really fun flyers deck in the Good Time Society Discord channel. Server, I guess. Blue, five blue. Choose two, counter all spells your opponent played this turn retroactively, <laughs> scry 60, then draw X cards where X is the amount of minutes your turn has taken so far. <laughs> Keep target player from playing magic, gain control and ownership of target permanent forever, then ban blue from all formats. <laughs> Oh man, that's fun. Okay, well let's see. You know what, I'm on the wrong computer to copy and paste this, so hold tight. Guess what, you can just see it. You can just see it. Opponent, make your choice. Sismara says, I can't have Tiramisu. My doctor will see it in my blood. Oh my god. He's watching your blood so closely. So this seems troublesome. I mean, I'm kind of, I kind of want to build their deck, you know? It's just so fun. X-Wing. Oh, you shouldn't inject her, Masu. Use a spoon. Good call, good call. <gasps> Soren! Okay, so now we get back Vito. Okay. We'll pay three to get Vito, put him on the battlefield, and then, hmm. Shoot, I could have got one more damage. Back up, combat phase first. Ugh. I think I would have won. Because he would have had lifelink, and then I would have done that much damage. I think I had it. I think I had Exaxes. I think if they swing, they're still dead. <laughs> I know, I fucked that up. My bad. I got excited. It's like, how can I possibly do damage? Let me sacrifice this cat. I forgot about combat. Nine plus six is one more than they need to murder me. Uh-huh, and then what? Oh, double strike. Got it. Well, their deck was pretty sweet. Uh, I did miss lethal. <laughs> uh, wow. You know, hey, you live and you learn and then you call yourself out and then um, your ranking doesn't go up because you just impulsively click things. I think that my natural impulsive nature really gets in the way of me being better at magic. Okay. So what's the, this like six drop where you draw, bang, <laughs> draw. <laughs> There's certain words in my vocabulary and I try to type 
dang just comes out. All right. You know the one. We got Rankle. Baby Rankle. Peer into the abyss. Target player draws cards equal to their half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life round up each time. I'm looking for me to gain life, though. Oh, what does this deck need? Sundar, I'm so glad that you have no idea what's going on, but you're having fun. That's all that I asked. Okay, so, basically, um, is there any black mill? Maybe I need a black blue deck so that Revival can mill Vito, and then I can grab it with Revival. You know? My tone and inflection don't seem impatient. That's just because I have this cool microphone, and so I do a voice. We've got a villas demon broker of blood. Whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. That is sweet. He's so expensive, though. I wish you were a vampire so Soren could cheat him out. All right. Well, Soren seemed to be the thing because we did have lethal there and then I threw it away. But no big deal. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I wasn't trying to win. That's not what I go for in magic. I'm trying to... We need four of Alcyad because that's going to protect our sweet baby Vito. So, Speaker of the Heavens, I don't know what to do with you. If I already have seven more life than my s starting total... Do I need to create a flying angel? That's like, what do you call it? What's the phrase where like, oh yeah, that'll help you win if you're already ahead. <laughs> we only have one castle block land. That's the problem here. Dawn of Hope. I love me some Dawn of Hope. Wait, wrong castle. Honestly, I don't really want any Castle Ardenvale. It's only good because Soren can make it have lifelink, the the token. Okay. <gasps> you got a train bulldozer icon. That means you're a wrecker. That's what that means. Becca's wreckers. All right. Uh, I'm not competitive at all. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's called win more. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. What's that card where you're winning and it makes you win more? Okay, so a Rebo intervention is really flexible removal, so that makes sense. Witches Oven and Cauldron Familiar go hand in hand and they go with our pinging sort of thing. Um, they basically, well, they give us life gain. Alcyad really needs to protect Sweet Baby Vito, who's the heart and soul of this deck. Revenge of Ravens and Ill-Gotten Inheritance are just to ping them and the life gain off of Vito will kill them. Maybe we lose Bolas? I honestly have not actually gotten to play it. Oath of Kaya is awesome when Vito's out. Really, I want more ways to either draw or bring back Vito. Be careful with the castles. True. You know what? I think I'd rather have less fabled passages. We're only two colors, so we're not that hard up for finding the right untapped lands. Okay, so 12. I don't want Castle Ardenville. Get out of here. I want to draw cards. And I will pay for it with my goddamn life. So we've got four Godless Shrine, and then 12, 16, 19, uh, 21, 23. Throw another Swamp in there. Honestly, I don't know if I have more red or oh, white or black in here. Uh, so, let's look at that. More black, okay. Although my cheap cards are white. That works too. Two five is a lot better than three four. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Grim Tutor. Ooh, me like Grim Tutor. Ah, oh, 
is this one I'm gonna spend? I only have one mythic rare card. And you know what? This is how we're gonna redeem it. My brightness on my screen just went down. That was, oh, I'm not plugged in. Oh my goodness, hold on. Did I forget to bring up <laughs> charger? Okay. Stretching. Everybody stretch. Everybody stretch. You're alive. Remember, murder is illegal. Oh, it's legal. We'll pay for it with someone else's life. That's a good idea. Okay. So, let's spend our one mythic rare card on Grim Tutor. You better be worth it, buddy. You better come up every time. I have a god account, but I'm not allowed to use it on stream. And so I never end up using it because I don't want to like be gaining gems and coins that I can't actually redeem stuff for, you know? It's like cheat codes make the game not fun. Legalize murder. Oh gosh. Well, you know, I'm not a fan of that. But there are, uh, if, it, if we did have the perch, I'd definitely be out there doing the work, you know? You know? I'd be doing the good work. Okay. That's the opposite of what I said? No, you weren't here earlier, says Marth. We decided murder is legal if you didn't know it was illegal. That's what we figured out. Okay, so we're gonna cut three cards. We'll lose an oath. Uh, honestly, I don't care about Helioid's intervention. It could, it could be pretty clutch as like an in-game move to gain twice X life if all you've got out there is veto. But honestly, I like everything else better. What do we think? Andy, God dang it, why didn't you say that before I spent my one mythic? We're gonna pretend we like it because mom bought it for us. And that's all there is to it. Okay. You know what? Maybe I want more Temple of Silence for the scry, but honestly more than Fabled Passage. Holy snap. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't have him in my deck. Okay, well, screw that then. Fabled. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I shouldn't be splitting the difference between Ill-Gotten Inheritance and Revenge of Ravens. Might as just as well go with the one. It's also rather expensive. What y'all think? What y'all think here? He only costs two. Okay. So we've got... I'm going to cut a land. Oh god, I forgot what this card is called. Intervention? Helioid's Intervention. That's the one. Okay. We got all kinds of interfering and interventioning. Let's just see what happens. Oh, fancy Frenchman. You have a BA in criminology. Very cool. Uh, yeah, but we decided that the current government decided that knowing something, not knowing something is a crime means it's not, so that's, that's where we were with that. I like the idea of civil disobedience, though. So. Uh, ooh, no white source. Do we keep? It's risky. <laughs> it's 
sprinkles. That's that's a fun story. What's up, Psycho Gardener? Okay, I'm really torn on what to do. I need to check and see if I have a good ratio of lands going on. I'm not sure that I do. All right. We got a one, two, three, four drop. It's pretty good. Hate to mess with it. I guess we'll throw away the removal. We're playing against Mushu. From Mulan. Okay. We have drawn our revival, so we have a way to get back Vito if he dies. No two drops, we'll just throw down our tap land, our scry land. Ooh, do we want a fourth land? Yeah, for ill gotten inheritance, I do actually. Honestly. Becca for president? I'll take it. But let me tell you right now. We're getting full on universal basic income day one, people. Plus we'll throw some reparations in that situation. All right. Oh gosh, they've got some sort of shock or counter spell. But if it's only one, it's like a mystical dispute. I don't know what they had up they could do for just one. Where's our Basilica? Ooh, we could look into it. Yes. Yes. Remove the removal. <laughs> Having no income, I would like universal income. You're welcome, says Marth. There's a really interesting video that I posted on Twitter yesterday that my mother-in-law sent to me to the family and it's from the New York Times. And uh, if you just Google NBA socialism, it explains how the NBA has already sort of instituted this idea of uh, whatever teams are on the bottom get to draft first. Um, the idea that like all teams are given, oh, what's the term for like profit sharing? Um, because that's how you make everything competitive for the Lakers or whatever the uh i know this steph curry is on the team that's golden state warriors um in order for them to have competitive opponents they need for all of the teams to be able to like train players and pay for players what has my opponent done they opted they erode okay Ooh. Okay, fingers crossed that we get to untap with Vito and then play Heliod's Intervention for two, but it's going to do four damage to them. Maybe we'll draw another land untapped. In magic, it's called proxying. Exactly. It is my firm belief that everybody deserves a roof over their head and everybody deserves food to eat. And if you want luxury beyond that, of course, work for it. But I think that the idea behind socialism is that there's enough to go around. Um, I'm not going to starve if I pay more in taxes. And so uh, I want everybody to have that basic platform of just, you know, livability. Okay, they're going to counter this. But if I gain four... Yeah, okay, let's just try this. Uh, target player gains twice X. That's me. I'll gain four life, and then you will lose four life, and then I will hit you for two. Okay. Now, my only fear is that they kill Vito, and then I try to revival him, and I can't. 
because they counter. That'd be scary. This video just makes me happy. Mufo, what have you posted in our chat? I'm clicking it, but I'm not going to play it right now. Peppa Pig episode? What? <laughs> Mufo, it's okay. You wanted to send it. That's why. Taxes, money, dollars, taxes, says Steve without holes. I completely agree. You know what? I just have read books on UBI from researchers, specifically Rutger Bregman. He's uh, based in the Netherlands, really smart guy. He wrote this book called Utopia for Realists. Um, and then I read Annie Lowry's Give People Money. And it just seems that like in terms of donations and giving people in other countries things, like if you just give people money, that's what helps them the most because they know what to do with the money. Um, Hold back Vita. Thank you. They've got Shark Typhoon. Good call. Beware of Shark Typhoon. Uh, okay. We'll swing with the kitty cat. We've had 100 years of Ayn Rand brainwashing. You know what? I read The Fountainhead before I knew. It sounds like I read a lot more than I do. <laughs> We're just talking about the books that I've read in, you know, 20 years. Um, I read The Fountainhead before I knew it was like a Republican manifesto. I thought it was just interesting narrative, but like the saddest people in the world, the saddest point of view I could ever imagine. That like you only deserve what you work for. And it's totally negating the fact that some people are, I mean, the big conversation in America right Happy now. Happy birthday, birthday like, Becca. Becca. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your gift. gift. Smiley oh face. God. Lost train of thought for the best reason. Hubs, thank you so much. Aw, chair rewards. What's up? This is why Grim Tutor is meh. Yeah, we could have had lethal with a three drop or with just anything that gains life, honestly. <gasps> that white one drop that can gain you four life. That's what we need in here. Because it's also very versatile. Who gives who money? Honestly, I would I would uh, cut the U.S. military budget. Um, I would make Jeff Bezos pay, you know, 25% taxes on everything Amazon makes and sales tax. Think of that tax, even though it, it is disproportionately, like, hurts people with less income. I think that Europe seems to be pretty fine with their VAT tax, even a small one. There's so many ways that big companies are not paying anything in taxes. And, you know. Oh, here we go. Game over. Um, and I think that they couldn't do anything about veto. Game over. Uh, I think that if people paid their fair share, then it'd be just fine. Honestly, I could pay more and that'd be okay. Um, but I don't want to give money to more warships and and uh like i have a friend that works in worked in military finance and said there was so much overpayment for stuff because it just really really went unchecked there was no budget oversight and actually obama ordered a military budget like review basically an audit of the military budget to make sure that they didn't have like redundant costs and then, of course, it got canceled before it actually got underway when the administration changed. But there's a lot of money that could be saved with just better accounting. Military is a thing to merely smuggle drugs. Oh, well, then who do I hit up to get mine? I should be on NPR with that voice. Oh, my God. Terry Gross is my goddamn idol. I would love to be on NPR. But all those people are actual reporters. <laughs> And uh, doing the work of writing and reporting is not something I have experience in. Okay, I'm, I'm done being distracted by this game so we could talk about universal basic income for a minute. Let's do it. Let's go big screen. Uh, okay, Dange, Russ, Vegas. We give Unemployment Welfare Act, but there are still problems. What makes UBI different? So 
I think we should get rid of those problems, those programs. And this is something that like a lot of libertarians are in favor of UBI instead of those other programs. The reason why is because if you're on unemployment, you're incentivized to not get your job because you lose your unemployment. I mean, like a lot of people are finding this out right now that have never been on unemployment before that are because of COVID. They're finding out that you're incentivized to not take that that short-term gig or this like your job offered you um, a position back but they're going to pay you less um, because that's what they can afford and you say no because it's like well man my unemployment is paying me this much per week it's incentivizing people not to work to not do what they love because uh, and whether or not they love that job but also not to pursue what they love because of financial restrictions welfare food stamps it's extremely restrictive what if you want to buy organic food but food stamps has all these restrictions like well you can only buy the whole milk and you can only buy it in this size and you can only buy these eggs you can't buy the organic kind so there's like so many little restrictions when honestly if you just let people figure out what they need and what is best for them, like they really need diapers or they really need baby clothes, but their food stamps can't pay for that. Or maybe they have an organic garden that their neighborhood has grown and they have the food they need, but what they really need is some other essentials. When you limit how people can use these you know, um, government stipends, then it really eliminates the purpose. I, I think universal basic income and this Andrew Yang talked about his proposal was that you could choose either get the thousand dollars a month or keep your current programs if they're making you more money or getting you more money and I think that's sort of an intermediary step um but the the book that I read that I love the most was Rucker Bregman's um Utopia for Realists because imagine you're in a small town people are moving away young people are moving away and you're like what would make my town really thrive what could benefit my community i want to start a bakery i want to make baked goods but nobody in my community is going to spend five dollars on an artisan donut because they don't have money because the factory here closed if everyone is getting ubi then that means that if you quit your job you don't like and you start that bakery you're contributing to your community because you're creating uh like revitalizing that town center that had been defunct because all the little shops closed down you know that you're not gonna end up homeless if you put your savings into it because you're gonna at least have enough for rent with that say thousand dollars a month even if your business fails uh, and you're you're willing to take a risk and a chance that betters your community and betters your life then the people who live in your town they may say oh, well i don't have five extra bucks to spend but if they like their job or they're doing fine at their job and don't mind it and then they get an extra thousand dollars a month they have that extra disposable income to go spend on whatever they want then people who are doing dumb shit on the internet <laughs> can pay more in taxes then maybe that person will watch my stream and give me five bucks so it evens out and I think that sort of leveling the playing field, I don't see it like communism where everybody's unhappy because nobody gets anything for working harder. Of course you get things for working harder. Of course the economy still exists. It's just there's a baseline. Rant paused. <laughs> okay, I'm lost on what uh, I was ranting and didn't read for a second, so I didn't get distracted. Most UBI programs are meant to replace other social programs. Yeah, well, also think of the administrative costs. Not that I want a bunch of government employees to not have a job, but I think that maybe they could pursue something they wouldn't enjoy more if we eliminate... Oh, Selena's here, hi. Um, I think that there's so much bureaucracy in government. There's a lot of jobs that are unnecessary. There's a lot of, um, of people having to like work in the IRS making sure that all these things happen when really <laughs> the reason that America's tax system is as arduous and complicated is it as it is is because of the lobbyists at TurboTax and Intuit and all these uh, financial companies uh, HR block that get individuals to pay them to do tax returns because they seem too complicated for an individual to do on their own when really that's the government can see how much money you made and they can just send you a bill for your taxes yet you have to file this complicated return so they can you know um get their fee to their buddies that paid uh the politicians that make the legislation <sighs> lobbyists are the problem <laughs> Anyway, I'm waiting for more questions. I'm trying to catch up on what you guys are saying in chat. 
Oh, Jason Williams used to program tax software and work at one of those listed companies. This is a little funny. I want to know if you think I'm right on that. I, I'm. This is just things I've read, my opinion, and I'm curious. You know, I'm always open to new ideas, and I'm not here just to rant and my way is the only way, but this is what I believe from what I've read. A capitalist economy, UBI, will never work because the rich don't get richer. Well, you got a point there, Hank. You got a point there. The only problem with UBI is when you get into the nitty gritty, it's like, like it's good for everyone to have a job and be able to live, but should the person who wants to make kitten mittens be able to make a living doing that? Yes, yes. Or should they be a seamstress and make a living that way? If, if robots are making our clothes, then let that woman make kitten mittens on Etsy and have a roof over her head and food to eat because you know what? Okay, so here's the other thing that, of course, Andrew Yang talked about a lot. Uh, automation. Automation? Automation. Robots are taking our jobs. Why are they taking our jobs? Because we're paying taxes that is going towards government funding or we're buying things from Amazon so Amazon can spend the money researching how to make more efficient robots. Ro robots. Robots that eliminate jobs. That's what they're doing. And we taxpayers and consumers are paying for those robots to be made that eliminate jobs. So if those companies have to pay like a robot replacing, replacing jobs fee to the government and then that money is redistributed to people so they can have food and shelter, then it's fine if jobs go away. Everything can be automated. We don't all have to have, okay, there's, um, I was going to say meaningful work. So meaningful work to me means something that people find enjoyable. Um, there's this idea of you can have work that adds value to society or you can have work that kind of like is a parasite of value in society. And I would say being a healthcare worker adds value, obviously, tangibly. You are doing important work. And um, owning a hedge fund or being a hedge fund manager, no offense to people who do that. You, you have to be pretty smart to run those numbers. Um, but that is leeching value. It is taking, you know, the hospital profits and it is leeching value off of them. Now, I'm someone that owns stocks and uh, so like I'm not someone that is completely uh, innocent in this. You know, I, I play the game too. I, uh, you know, I, I, I like having money and spending money. So, but I do think that I could give more to other people. And so I try to donate in that way. But I would love it if I they feel like government's job is to support people and make sure that the lowest possible uh, level of living that someone could have standard of living is just elevated, you know, uh, like raise the level of the water and all the boats rise. That's a metaphor of some kind that I'm butchering. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Geekstronaut says, I enjoy and appreciate how passionate you are about everything except my feeding schedule. Love you, mom. It's because I keep Geekstronaut in, um, in, a, in a cage in the dungeon. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, the UBI needs to go to everyone, though, even rich folks. It's the only way to work. I, I agree with that because we don't want people lying about how much they make. So if everyone makes that money, then if you don't need it, then great. You can just... Uh, donate that much and I think tax write-offs should be a thing uh, it incentivizes people to give more the more money that goes to lower income people the more directly it goes back into the economy exactly because you know what you give me UBI either I'm gonna donate it or I'm gonna put it in a savings account and I'm gonna sit on it and it's gonna earn me more wealth because it's already there but if you give it to someone who needs to buy groceries and needs to buy diapers for their kid that money is immediately spent again exactly such a great point uh the lowest level is great but we have have to say what the lowest level is oh hold on let me stop the chat moving um at some point see people are gonna want to do what's lower than the lowest level and we have to make that cut off well you know sure there's going to be like what is that level um and we don't want to like the ubi has been tested in pilot programs in canada and i want to say sweden had a two-year test pilot um and then in canada there was a place called dolphin in the 80s that did this pilot program and the evidence there says 
it's it's different if there's a time limit on it it's people need to know that there's not going to be like okay but this is temporary they need to know that long term this money is going to be there in order to be able to take risks and that might mean people working less because they're going back to school or they're taking care of family and this is a thing that yang talks about a lot i know i keep bringing him up but of course universal basic income is something i'm really really passionate about so he was a candidate i liked um and he would talk a lot about the work that's uncompensated, which is care work for family, like going back to welfare and unemployment. If you are caring for um, an elderly parent, maybe, or for a bunch of children, um, you can't be compensated for that work. And uh, that can't keep you, like if you need to be, at, if you're on a welfare program that requires that you work a minimum number of hours or has a work requirement, then um, if, if you are working and taking care of someone else's elderly parent or someone else's kid, that's compensated work and that can keep you on that program. But working for people in your own family is not. So you're gonna have to hire someone to care for them, put them into daycare. It's such like a backward system where if you just gave people a flat fee, it would take away so much of this like red tape and bureaucracy. And again, like not having to determine who deserves it, who doesn't deserve it, just everybody pays and then maybe it comes out in the wash in taxes. You don't have to think about it. Four pole wabbit. Someone is paying to raise the lower incomes up. What incentive is there to work hard to get ahead if the money is redistributed? If you work to get an A in school, <laughs> is it fair to raise up the person that gets the D? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, if you're at the top, if you're Jeff Bezos, if you're any number of billionaires, uh, if you are someone who has two steady incomes in their house and you wouldn't miss another 5% of that income going towards taxes, then then it's not, it's not going to make you work any less. Um, is someone yelling in my house? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Okay, where were we? There's no incentive anyway. Yeah, um, I mean, for me, it's not gonna take away any incentive. I'm here every day making videos, researching, playing, like, I, I work constantly and that doesn't reflect whether or not I'm making money on that work. A lot of people think of UBI from the headspace of capitalism. Absolutely, Selena. What's up, I miss you, babe, how are you? UBI only gives you the basic income you need to not die. Yes, Night Cat gets it. Yes, I want to pay more for people to not die from poverty and starvation, especially when, you know, I grew up in a household where I had two parents that were working, uh, raised by nanny, you know, money wasn't a problem. And that gave me a sort of non-scarcity mindset when you're when you grow up in poverty it makes you make rash decisions with money um, because you just haven't learned how to do it differently or you just have like a oh and of course having the stability that i know i could move to la and try and be an actor or you know sit on the internet and <laughs> play video games and if it didn't work out i could move back home to missouri and live with my parents and i knew that was always an option so that lack of fear propelled me into taking big chances which worked out Anyway, and I'm not trying to like be braggy or to out my privilege. I know I'm a privileged person and I just want to acknowledge that. Uh, so yeah, come at me for it. Same can be said for medicine. Oh, I missed what we were talking about there. But definitely uh, with automation and technology, the same uh, happens with a lot of government money, uh, tax money going to research for medicine medical research and then um well drug companies reap the profits americans don't get subsidized medicine which of course is uh you know a big growing topic of debate okay zig mover i'm interested in this i believe in laissez-faire capitalist economy and economy can flourish with little to no government intervention and i still think ubi is an amazing thing that can help a butt ton of people see yeah i think there's a lot of ways to look at it zig mover i love that you're a fan of ubi and also we probably have different ideas of the way government should work but yeah i i'm all for simplicity i think it's definitely too complicated the way our government works now 
Um, definitely don't think there should be government intervention in social aspects of society. Okay. Well, um, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's my rant for the day. Wow. The economy flourishing and people flourishing are not the same thing. Absolutely. I think that's very clear with the fact that the stock market took a little dive and then rocketed back up despite the fact that people are really suffering during COVID. When Bezos is on track to be a trillionaire, the only way you can reach that degree of personal wealth is exploiting the people working for you. No one can personally work hard enough at one time to fairly amass that much wealth. Absolutely. And what is he spending it on? His rover to Mars. We don't need that. We need to fix Earth. We need to fix climate change and we need to fix the growing wealth gap. Splattercat! Hi, 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 hi! Oh, happy vacation this week! Did you just decide to take a stay-at-home vacation or are you uh, traveling? I missed the last stream of blood. How was it? Oh my gosh, hubs. We didn't have one last Sunday. I may have lied about it because I was mistaken on my own schedule. I thought that I was going back to back from Q times to stream of blood, and I don't know if that's the fact. Um, okay, well, uh, what time is it? We should maybe play some magic? We need to fix pandemics. Oh, I mean, yeah, we're basically at square one with lockdown. I'm speaking about the US, like, if everyone had shut down, except for essential, essential workers, if everybody had just stayed at home, worn a mask, actually stayed inside for a month, it would be done with. <sighs> but now we'll just keep starting over and over. No shade, but your privilege uh, probably helps from your point of view. <laughs> so much, uh, trying to follow what you're saying there. I believe you. I know that my privilege makes my point of view different. We have to think about becoming an interplanet interplanetary species as a backup plan. Yeah, but uh, I mean, there, there, there's a lot of money to be spent. I'm not anti-space travel. I just think, um, you know what, we really, I know Elon Musk is going to keep doing his thing. And Jeff Bezos really wants to compete, you know, with his other s scary, super genius, super billionaire buddy. But, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, Pennsylvania <laughs> did a bad job listening to the government there. Yeah, yeah. Simoksh, I know that uh, my appearance is also uh, an extra level of privilege added on to all things that I do. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Any spots left in the space rocket? Space stuff should be globally funded, uh, but <laughs> not according to Space Force. No, we need a space army. Oh gosh, I'm losing my voice from all my passionate ranting. Upchucks makes a really good point. If we let the free market control space travel, we're going to end up with the same class war warfare problems we have here on Earth. Yup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Boone Faustus, you are a kitchen worker in a high-traffic casino resort. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of terrible customers there. At least I'm sure all your coworkers will be wearing masks, and that's what's really important. But, God... I saw a graphic yesterday. It was on Melanie's, um, she found it on Instagram and had it in her story. And it was Petri dishes. And there was four different Petri dishes. And they said, like, this is um, when someone coughs with a mask and without a mask. And there was, like, a material in the Petri dish and someone coughed onto it. And um, basically, a sneeze is the worst without a mask. A sneeze barely has any effect with a mask. And same with coughs. That was the second worst thing. And then singing and talking were kind of the same difference of, like, the actual particles you could see visible in the Petri dish, um, whether or not you had the mask on or not. So singing and talking were not as bad as I had thought. Anyway. 
Sam wasn't even paying attention to the game and won it anyway. Very impressive. I'm curious what deck you're playing there. The Expanse is capitalism in space. Oh gosh, I haven't watched The Expanse. Vegas is mass mandatory everywhere. That's great. But, oh my god, did you guys see that very upsetting video of um, the woman in like an A&P or a grocery store, this white woman, and she was told she needed to wear a mask and they wouldn't check her out at the grocery store. And then she just started taking everything out of her grocery cart and just throwing it on the ground and cursing at the people that work there and like throwing stuff. Ridiculous. You can't do that shit if you're uh, not like, would a black person be shot for that? Hard to say, hard to say. So fucked up. Oh God. <laughs> Bit eggs boy. I had to sneeze once inside the mask and it was quite bad and disgusting for me, but I guess it was much better for everyone else. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh God. Caitlin, you missed a lot of real conversation. We got into it about UBI. We got into it. Yeah, Boone Foster says NY is supposed to be mandatory mass, but one third of people just don't care. It's so frustrating to me. I mean, I wear my mask when I'm out. Ugh. Like, wh why? Why? Like, it's proven to work. Ugh. Caitlin, I'm so sorry I didn't call you to tell you we were having having real talk. I don't even know what to say about the mask thing. It's like... There's just no words. You could save people's lives if you wear this. No, I don't want to. That gets in the way of my freedom. Okay. Okay. I can't breathe through my nose. I can't wear a mask. You, you could breathe through your mouth in a mask. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justin, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ooh, pet boys. Okay, M21 draft. Who's up? Says dang. Um, I actually do want to play a little more magic, so we're gonna get into it. But then you asked me a question, and we're going back to big screen. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, we got a rare wild card here. Subira Tulzidi Caravaner. Haste. Legendary creature, shaman, human. Uh, pay one and another target creature with power two or less can't be blocked. Ooh, does this go in a mono red deck? No, it's not powerful enough. Okay, well, I want to play our deck again because it worked, you know? I can't remember. I can't remember if we played in one or if it was the time when I missed lethal. Oops. say goldfish somebody's gonna have to grant you permission though okay oh shoot we should take grim tutor out what a waste of a mythic rare uh i think i need a little creature Or just F it. I'm living my life. I'm living my best life. We're just going to draw the cards we need. Get the Basilica. Okay. Little Get a little Bell Hottie in here. What's November 19th, Zigmover? <laughs> Just doing this for the card draw. Man, we have not been drawing our Knight of the Ebon Legion, but he's in this deck. Ooh, what are they playing? Okay, little Rakdos. I'm sure they have removal and they're gonna use it, but let's just see. Fireblade artists. It's spicy. 
At the beginning of your upkeep, keep sack a creature to deal two damage to opponent or planeswalker. Wearing three masks at the same time has no effect on breathing, is that right? I also heard that um, for medical workers, they're testing to have more carbon in their blood uh, because they're, they're breathing their own breath back in all day long. Okay, so they're tapped out, so why would I not block here? I don't understand. Oh, okay. I might as well just jump. That made me nervous. Hmm. What do we want? What do we want? I guess we just uh, play all seed to keep our baby safe. <laughs> Asia Spire, you love wearing a face covering in public? <laughs> Yeah, how are we doing with Cardboard Live? Is this working? Maybe. Okay. Tempted to play Rakdos. No face, no case. Love it. Ay, 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 ay. This is a problem for me. Okay. Hmm. I'm just not I don't like my cards. This is a bad deck. That bronze girl has the best theory about people who don't wear masks. They just have gross ass breath and don't want to have to smell what they make the rest of us smell. That seems legit. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Hmm. Okay. So we got the lifelink. Uh-oh. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Masks make it really hard to ask girls out. I think just uh, stay at home orders do that. Hi, Nightcat! Oh my gosh. What is happening over on YouTube? Oh. I don't know how to turn the captions on. Okay, should we make their deck? Should we make their deck? Should we change our deck? Let's look into this. Uh, 
Okay, where's this little baby gain life? She's a white card. Light of hope. Then we're gonna lose Soren stupid. Grim Tutor stupid. Um Let's see. Maybe we want Cruel Celebrant. Oh, and then Dawn of Hope. Okay. Hmm. Now what do I lose? Maybe not Cruel Celebrant. We'll see what Dawn of Hope does here. Okay. I am Dawn of Hopeful about this deck. Only 15 creatures. Is that too few? I know. What is the name of that mono black flyer? I don't know why. This is not a card that we should forget. Gets a plus one. Bloodthirsty alias. Aerialist. Okay. I'll take out a Dawn of Hope. Justin, you just went on a gifting spree. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> I got a thank you email. Send in my thanks. Send thanks. Oh gosh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh wow, we got we got so many gift em uh, emotes. <gasps> This is a pride wave. Look at this happy little dolphin. You did that, Justin. You did that. Oh, and Critter Nation just gave Selena a sub. Yay! Thanks, Critter Nation. The Vampire Air Force. I know, I know. Okay, so let's see what works. So we're trying to get Vito out there. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Bloodthirsty alias, uh, aerialist just, you know, works there. Oath of Kaya. Removal plus that gain life effect. Uh, Revitalize is drawn as cards. Dawn of Hope is drawn as cards. Charming Prince can scry and gain life. Alciad is keeping our stuff safe and has lifelink. Cauldron Familiar and Witches Oven just doing their thing, you know, living their best life. And then Ar Rebos Intervention is our removal spell. And it's our only removal. We might need, oh, well, and Oath of Kaya. I don't know if we need more removal here. What do we think of this deck? Our most expensive card is a four drop. So we've got how many lands? 22. Should probably get another. Let's see. Um, we have 51%. Okay. I think we just want another planes. 14, 17. 21, 23. Let's go for it. YOLO. You have life gain. Removal is a lot less important. Very good point. Oh, Savage Gorger. What is that? Hmm. Let me look at that card. Ooh, we did take a Johnny out because he's expensive. Ooh, Savage Gorger is pretty sweet. And we took out Soren as well. Okay, I'm going to put him in the sideboard for now. Okay. 
Because I think we're gaining more life more than the opponent is losing it. We've got list our strength of the pride. You gain life equal to the number of creatures plus the number of planeswalkers. Dang it. Well, if we put him in, we gotta take the aerial list out. Hmm. Oh, now we're still one too many. Was I finishing that deck when we had too many cards? Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna lose an Alcyon. Let's see. Let's see if we can get there. Oh, Simic Flash. Uh-oh. I'm jealous now. I want to play that. <gasps> Baron Talarian Archmage. Legendary creature. Human wizard. Oh, let me just do a little window capture and show you what I'm looking at. That Samos... Samokoski. Samokoski? Samoksk? I don't know how to say your username. I'm going to keep... I'm just going to call you Sam. Uh, okay, so we got window capture. Let's pick this correct window. Showing the Simic Flash deck. Just gonna plop it right on top here. Okay, so there's Baron. When he enters the ETB, return one other target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. So bounce spell like Brazen Borrower. The beginning of your end step, if a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield, draw a card. Oh, sweet. Brazen Borrower, Uro, Mystic, Nightbook, Pack, Ambusher. Okay, what rarity is Baron? Because he's my limiting factor. I have four rares. Oh. I want to play this. Oh, Sublime Epiphany. Counter. Oh my god, this looks like the joke blue spell that someone posted in our Discord. <laughs> Choose one or more. Do whatever you want. Okay, you can counter target spell and counter target activated or triggered ability like a uh, shark typhoon cycling trigger. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Uh-huh. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Target player draws card. I'm curious what creature you would copy. I guess you can copy a legendary, right? Because it's not exactly a legendary. Can you copy a legendary? I forget. Paragon of the Black Lance. You could punish him for attacking with their <laughs> trump card. Uh, sh oh, Shark Typhoon is in here. Okay, I think we should build this. I think that's what we should do. Uh, so. Hold up. how how do I do this how let's just let's just make it <laughs> look I can copy and paste but I'd rather do way more work hold on hold on I can, let me just let me just do this uh let me just ah <sighs> Okay, here's what we're getting out. It's gonna be really fun. Legendary rule still applies. Bummer. Bummer. Okay. This deck is on goldfish. Mm -hmm. I literally was like staring at all my cards, wondering what Sima Flash I could make. I guess I could have net decked it. I tried to do it myself. <laughs> okay, we're gonna export to Arena. Thank you, copy please. Oh man, too many mouses, too many keyboards. <gasps> Okay, well, you know what? Now, we gotta change the name of our broadcast here. Because now it's a lie. So 
so many windows. Peppa Pig, what are you doing here? I don't even know what that is. I can't find it. I can't change the name of the stream. Who am I kidding? All right. Yeah, we're playing your list. Okay, I'm gonna name it after you. Sam, mo coco 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 smoke. Ski. Did I spell it right? Okay. We gotta craft some stuff. My craft has been acting up. I swear I'm clicking the shit out of it. If you button mash, it works, right? Okay. <gasps> Baron, we're about to spend all our stuff on you. So lofty denial counter, unless it's controller plays, pays one. But we have flyers. We have a flyer in Brazen Borrower and Brineborn Cutthroat and Spectral Sailor <gasps> and Shark Typhoon. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for this deck. Can you tell? I really hurt my teeth the way I mashed them together so hard. Um, so... Here's what I'm doing, hitting escape, hitting done, and then I come back to it, and they're there, and it worked. So I don't know what its deal is. Okay, this is all we have to craft. That's amazing, or that's wild. Okay, I think that that will work. This isn't my version, but it's a cool version. Snap, okay, that's right. I just... You've got Sublime Epiphany in there. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll try this one because I don't want to pay my rare wild cards. Uh, although I've only got two. And that's all I need to get your list going. Okay, let me find your list. Hold on. Dang it. It's anonymous. I see. I see what you did here. Okay, now we can all see. That one's by Crispy. You know what? I'm just going to type this freaking number in here. I'm not afraid of a little hard work. <laughs> yes, I could text it to myself or email it to myself. That's too many steps. Okay, now we're getting your list. Oh, we're getting it going. Okay, this one's called Not Sam. Where'd it go? This is called Sam M M M M M Moki. Did I really say something dirty in chat if Becca didn't see it? The answer is no. Discuss. <laughs> uh oh, what have you done, Caitlin? Not gonna lie, the way you said that made it sound like you were saying you were excited for the deck. I always say that I'm excited for the deck because I'm always excited for the deck. Shoot, y'all, we lost our black magic device. What is happening? I don't know why you can't see what I see. Hold up, we're gonna add it again. Oh, good. Oh, I got swallowed up. I got swallowed up. <gasps> ah. 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 Okay, here we are. Aegis Turtle. I was just going to put some Aegis Turtle in your deck. Okay. We're doing it. Last two cards on you. Hope this means a lot to you, Sam and Mamamoki. <laughs> if you win, I'd be proud. All right, well, that requires me to have patience that I don't know that I have. 
but I, I have uh, found that Simic Flash is rather rewarding in general. Hold on, you have 61 cards in this deck? 61? This is, this is a mistake. What did I click on? Four Quench, four Growth Spiral, two Baron, three Brazen, four Dispute. Why does it think we have 61 cards? Are they crazy? 25 lands, 15 creatures, 18 spells, three enchantments, equals 61. Am I crazy? Am I taking crazy pills? You have a fourth fabled passage. Get the F out of there. It was only a third fabled passage. Oh. No, we had 25 lands just like you. I swear to Jesus. I swear to Jesus. <laughs> Okay, let's try it. Sorry, discontinuity. I don't need you right now. Too many disputes. Hey, you didn't mess up. You're perfect. We're going to lose one dispute. And then y'all are going to talk to the chair for one minute. Oh, she thought about coming, but he changed his mind. <laughs> oh my god, David, that's really awkward. You you didn't call chair? They've been waiting for your call. Just sitting around. This is empty. That's upsetting. Oh god. Oh god. What's it like supporting back all these years? I love it. Okay, here we do, Sam. Here we do, Sam. That's what I said, and that's what I meant. <gasps> we can play standard. Traditional standard. Are we doing this? I'm doing best of three, okay? It's not going to go well for me, but here we go. Uh-oh, they're playing blue. But, you know, I've really misled them. <sighs> Always play first. Dang! <laughs> I think I'm gonna mull the six lander. Please feel free to help me pilot. Uh, you know, I play some blue ramp. Basically, I net deck what's popular. Oh, shoot. You wanna see the game? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh. Okay. Been playing Simic Ramp for so long. Even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was it Weird Al? Or not? Hard to say. Okay. I 
think our opponent's playing blue based on his avatar. What do I throw back? Yeah, toss the dispute. Okay. Oh gosh. Hoping for growth. <laughs> Geekstronaut's fine with full screen. How about we switch? We'll do game in the corner, very small. <laughs> Me full screen. That's what the magic players want to see. You play magic, Geekstronaut. <laughs> Maybe he just likes Jace. You know what? Maybe I just like Gideon because he's cutie. Reminds me of Jason Momoa a little bit. <laughs> Caitlin, I know you would. I know you would. <gasps> Thanks, Critter Nation. You said, uh, you notice how nice my new streaming room looks. Very Poison Ivy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that cosplay was fun. fun day. Played Batman Love Letter. Oh my gosh. Okay, sp growth spiral? Nope. Do we quench their growth spiral? <laughs> Just to be a dick? I'm sure they have one right here. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't want you to have the ramps. I could shark for two, just to start getting damage in early. I'm gonna do it in there in step. Oh right, shark for one. You can't counter my cycle, Jace or Lou. Their name is Lou. Who's your Harley? Whitney Moore. Ouch. Wish I could dispute it, but I can't. Oh, mama like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll see. If they have something I want to counter, we'll play Frilled Mystic. If they don't, we'll play Nightbook Ambusher. Which we might throw away if they don't play anything. They may be waiting on Frilled Mystic, too. Oh, God. What do I do if they don't spend their mana? Just pass, probably, right? If they don't spend their mana, it's because they're waiting to counter my thing. <gasps> Fuck, what do I do? Okay, I just got a pass. All we had to do is get here? Yeah, make them use their counter? Oh, okay. Well, then I think I want Night Pack Ambusher. Yeah, we're in charge, motherfucker. You gotta spend your card. You gotta spend. Let it resolve. Let it resolve. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to decline. Thank you. Okay. Now, do I play for Old Mystic on the end step if they do spin? No, I don't know. If they spin their mana. Now, if they have rewind, we're in trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nylea Kenied. Indestructible. I bet they left up a mystical dispute, though. Shoot, what if they left up a mystical dispute? Indestructible. We have to do it. Creatures cost one less to cast. I mean, if they. I'll just bounce it. Do they have the mystical dispute? <gasps> yeah, we're gonna take it. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Mm. 
You know what? We didn't draw the land anyway, so. Mm. Here we come. We're coming for you. They'd have to counter the creature. They can't counter the ability. Ah, <gasps> nice. Oh my god, I freaking love your deck, Sammy. concession you know you want to just concede yeah <sighs> deep breath remember to breathe becca <sighs> okay we'll crack it for blue before their turns out i guess we could do it on our turn doesn't matter indestructible means they cannot be killed with uh Anything except, you know, combat damage. I forgot what I was getting for a second. <laughs> Six coming at your face. Ooh, big boom. Hold on, our audio is not being captured right now. You know what, I think I know how to fix that. Let's just end our turn. Uh, I think that we've got to, oh my gosh, I don't like that it shows you a photo. What if there was something inappropriate there? Luckily it's just a cute picture of Mel and Oshi. Okay. USMR, I'm trying to get it to play through uh, the HDMI cable. Um, should we counter this just to be a dick? Yeah, why not? We're so far ahead and we've got another counter. Oh, I forgot how that card works. Well, they can't do anything else this turn. Sorry, that's, that's why I'm uh, bad at control. <laughs> I get too excited. Okay, one turn clock. You know what? I really should be playing these brazen borrowers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast it. Stop showing your deck though. Oh gosh, cute picture of Mel. That's just every picture of Mel. <laughs> Truth. Uh, inappropriate just depends on how weird your kink is. Look, so, you know, sometimes sometimes you're looking real good in the mirror, you gotta take a picture. And you don't want that picture on the internet. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't have uploaded that picture. Okay. Uh, let's just say, how about... Uh, look at the top card to your very library. Your devotion to blue is just two. Yeah, no. I mean, they can counter the counter. Gosh, free spell. Ridiculous. What did they just do? Best two of three, don't show your hand.
Okay. Yeah, I could have, I could have sent the oracle back to their hand, but I didn't want them to get the card draw. Okay, what do we know about them? Drop the mystic? Okay, Mr. Insight has a recast ability. They can recast it from the yard. Versus blue, you use endgame. They play green, so you can ether gust. True. They like God, so shadow spear is good. Okay, so then we lose. You, you think lose for mystic? I guess that's good against creatures. Okay. One commits endgame. Two ether gust and one shadow spear. Is how I sideboarded. We like. Okay, we're gonna try that. I win! Thanks, Justin. More important what you're taking out. Okay, this looks like a great start. There's Baron, our buddy we didn't get to see last game. We can cycle. We can ambush. Maybe we should have taken out the ambusher, do you think? And put in more ether guests, maybe for game three. <gasps> oh, keeping. Right, it's great if it sticks because we never play on our turn. Ambusher is the heart and soul of the deck. Oh, shoot. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, man. We got a good amount of viewers over here on Twitch. That's sweet. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Oh my god, I freaking love Semi Flash! Why is it so fun? Okay, so we gotta gust their Leafkin just to slow down their ramp, yeah? Le run Ley Line of Anticipation? I forget what it does. If it's in your starting hand, then you get to start with it on the board and it does something. Too late! Back on top. They really want that ramp. Gives everything flash. Yeah, I'm pretty much going at flash speed. Okay, so we could drop the breeding pool to drop Baron while they're tapped out and then bounce their token. We like this plan? Hmm. Hmm. Other one. Yeah, I want to do that, right? That's fun. Hmm. He's not good here. Well, I would bounce their their token. I guess it untaps their creature. Two three. We got a two two. Okay, so I'll just drop the forest and leave up. Or, uh, Breeding Pool tapped and leave up Quench. We got two sharks. I guess I could have made a 1-1. One, one. I'm all about your insight because I have played this deck in one other game. And you have played it a lot. Your Ambusher will take care of them both. And then chill and flash in night pack ambusher on their turn.
they're gonna counter it. We gotta try, right? Go ahead, play your counter. Do your worst. Ooh, nice. Nice. <sighs> okay, well now we shark, maybe? Or do we shark on our turn? No, never. <laughs> I hate the lag. Okay, you think I should play the shark right now? Shark on theirs. But they're not tapped out. You know what? I guess they'll have to use their mana eventually. Surprise shark! Oh, shark! Oh, baby boy, you got a shark coming at ya! Gross Spiral, you're late. <laughs> Land Shark! I do have a dual setup, Chris. I am playing on a laptop, PC laptop, into my Mac. With a capture card made by Black Magic. Grow Spiral is never bad. Late, early, it's still decent. Yeah, I guess drawing cards is pretty nice. Oh, now you get the Leafkin Druid. Okay. Uh. Oh, they dismissed the shark too late? Uh-oh. Okay, so do we want another shark and a growth spiral? Ooh. Such a pro streamer. Took me many years to have this small amount of uh, audio troubleshooting each and every stream. Okay. Mm, I guess we just leave it open and do another surprise shark, right? He can take out the frilled mystic on the block. Take it out? What? What? Take out the frill mystic on the block. What does that even mean? Oh, I see. I see what she's doing there. Okay. Okay, so I'll bounce their token. Or do I bounce their leafkin? Whatever. It's gotta happen eventually. Gosh, I realize my head is blocking my islands right now. What a shame. Girl, spiral into that value. Okay, we'll do it. Wow. Okay. Let's pass on to blackers. And we're gonna block your real mystic. If you try to bounce it, I'm on girl spiral. Oh no. <laughs> I think not. Bam. Did it. Gotcha. Joke's on you. Okay. Now we're gonna cycle a 5-5 five five Sharky on their combat. And then they're gonna counter it, which is a bummer. I wish we had a Mystic. Hmm. 
Yeah, well dressed. We played a bunch of Vampire's Life game. Okay, a bunch. We played a few games. Uh, I couldn't make it work out for me, so we're trying Simoko skis. Maybe I got it right that time. Uh, Simic flash deck. Holy shit. I just hit spacebar and I fudged up. I fudged up, people. Do I do it now? Ugh. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> you know what? I'm still gonna make it. Yes, they don't have a counter. They don't have a counter. Shadow Spear! Hmm. I guess I'll just get this baby down. <laughs> no defeat! No surrender! Okay. Go on the shirt. And we're coming at your face. Ooh. Ah, lifelink. That's an important tidbit. Okay. Me like you this decky. So, I'm gonna take two damage here. And then... Do I do a shark for three? Nah, I think I just grow spiral. Ooh. Why isn't that in our deck? Dang. Wizard of Oz, welcome. That scry in. What are we looking for on our scry? Grow spiral for the counter? I guess we could have. We could have found that mystical dispute, but he's going to draw the cards anyway, which is not fun. Let's shark for three and block them. Rewind. Sweet. Um. And they're gonna take it. Oh, it's gotta hurt. Okay, so now we can scry and grow spiral unless they play something gross that we want to rewind. Can you guys hear the music? It's pretty low. Cavalier of Gales, no, spank you. Scoop? Think you want to scoop in this position? I guess I should have scribed before the grow spiral, but I didn't. Oh my gosh, we could just bounce everything. Hey, is Cardboard Live working? I mean, like, do I need to copy and paste my deck? I think it does it all automatically. <sighs> I 
grenade with me. Yay! I love your deck so much, Sammy! It's a good low volume for not drowning out your voice. Well, I don't know if I've counteracted that because I turned it all the way up. To 4% volume. Big moves. Big money moves. Okay. Awesome. Man, Cardboard Live, it's the best. <gasps> what if I make my face purple? That'd be fun, right? Trying something. Hold on. Playing with lights. Hello. Wake up. This color is called plant growth. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is called party. No. Sorry. Uh, getting distracted. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do candlelight. Okay. Sam is fine. <laughs> Perfect. Thanos Becca's best Becca. Love it. I called you Samamaman. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I train Oshi to bring me snacks? That's the big question. Hmm. All right. Do I have a favorite card? I think it's Frilled Mystic. <laughs> I think that's my favorite card. You know what? Simic is just a very satisfying deck to play. Basically my first stream of the year when I was getting back into streaming just because I've been playing so much magic, I figured I should be streaming. Uh, and then I played all day with, with Simic and had like 60% win rate, which for me is awesome. <laughs> okay, so this looks like a good starting hand. I'm happy. I'm going to play Breeding Pool Tapped, and then I'm going to play the Island for Growth Spiral on turn two. <gasps> Renowned Weaponsmith. Uh oh, we got a Brewer on our hands. Add two Colorless Mana, spend it to cast artifacts uh, or do their abilities. And find your Heart Piercer Bow. Or Vial of Dragonfire, which I don't know what those do either. Whatever. Oh, sh no, don't do that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see. Hmm. Wow. They're going to play some big stompy artifacts, aren't they? Okay. What do we do? They're going to ping me for one. Should I bounce them? Or should I grow spiral? Uh, I'll just... I know. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life. And I didn't make it. I made Sam do it for me. Ugh! <laughs> oh. One point of damage. It hurts. Okay. So I guess we hard cast Brazen Borrower on their turn if there's. That's all we can do. Alright. I suppose we should grow Spiral. Them having eight mana is the thing to worry about. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight's coming down. That's true, we want the bounce. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna give him the oops. <laughs> Ooh. To that I say, nice. Spaghettios. Oh, 
Okay. Mm. Painful. I guess we'll bounce it there next turn. And then we'll be able to re rewind it. Or do we bounce it now so that we can hold up rewind? Should I bounce? I want to bounce. I want to bounce. Yeah, because then they throw away their all the glitters. I mean, we have three rewinds. We gotta use them. Okay, play again. Yeah, go for it. Oh, this is very nice. All thanks to you, Sammy. You know what? I changed my mind. Oh my gosh. They're leaving up a counter. Oh. Yeah, they've got a veto or something. it again drive the counter get another land shoot uh i want to bounce it but they've still got they could mystical dispute it I should have bounced it. Whoops. Mm. Okay. Ginger brute, you think? Just to throw away their all that glitters? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have enough to both quench and... Oh, yeah. Nice. I hate when people say your go. I'm so mad that's a thing. <laughs> Okay, bounce. Mm. Shoot, I think I have to throw down Baron as a blocker. Baron is to bounce your own stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I'm gonna take eight damage here and I don't want to. So I guess I could... Okay, I'll play Frilled Mystic on their turn and then Baron to bounce Frilled Mystic back to my hand to draw a card. Oh yeah, because it'll die. Brazen Borrower can't block. Why can't I flash it in? Oh, I don't have a second green source. Well. No, thank you. There it is. There 
there it is. Okay, so now we could Baron my borrower. And then we can still bounce their Stone Coil Serpent. Attack first, Becca. Who is she? What's wrong with her? <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. They've got a counter, and they've got a counter, and they know I have it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh, they didn't have it. Shoot. No, they just wanted to resolve Ugin. Oh, I should have blocked and countered. Whoops. Well, now it's done for. That was stupid. <laughs> uh. I guess we just leave up our counters, yeah? Uro? He's got to prepare for his escape sometime. Mm. Okay, we jump their serpent. It's not looking too good for us. Destroy? So rude. Be gone, interloper. Thinking is my favorite button. Hey, we weren't going to win this game anyways, because I did not leave up a counter when I should have. Hey, all right. All right, now it's a game. <gasps> they conceded. Well, there you go. How much time is it in your timer? Good point. Oh, did they run out of time? <gasps> Oh, snap. Okay, well, let's just play best of one, because that's where I'm happy and safe. Because <laughs> Civic Flash is so annoying. I know, you get more concessions. As soon as you counter, like, two or three big cards, people are just done. They're just done. Okay. Growth Spiral, keeping it. Sure, you do whatever vampires you want over there. I'll just be chillin'. It is an amazing deck. Thank you so much. I can keep it! I get to keep it? Wow. Muy generoso. Stuck on land. 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 Nah. Nah. Mm. Well, let's bounce it. No, that's silly. Hold on to your spell. <gasps> land, please. Cycle for zero. Should we do it?
shoot. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we just have to bounce them. That's the good land show going on. Hi, Snobster. Uh oh. They got that thirsty flying vampy. Arrow? They're never gonna play blue. Cool. I guess Uro. No, that's just too expensive. Never gonna get to six lands at this rate. Ah. Oh. Okay, now I think we just arrow. Or do we dispute whatever they're about to do next? All right. Do your worst. Just go right ahead. I can do nothing to stop you. <gasps> oh. You gonna look at my hand? Mm -hmm. Graveyard or hand in exile. You may cast it for as long as it remains exiled. Spend. Anyway. Oh, okay. They want my counter. That's cute. Uh, and I should be changed to cute. Look how cute you are. You bullshit. Okay, if we get a land. Shoot, we just need to be able to quench this frilled mystic, I think. I can't let them. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, this is a good game. No. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, they can hold up the mystic all day. <laughs> the Of course. Why would they why would they? Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at this gorgeous deck. Is Sublime Epiphany too expensive? What if we just put some cheapy removal in there? What if we just get another uh, couple more Uro? Twenty-five beautiful lands. Hmm. Hmm. It's fantastic when it gets there, but uh, is that is that when we're winning more, as they say? Might be a little win more. Let's just max on on our sharkies. We love a good shark. He's so versatile. And then uh, another Uro. Because you know what? We don't like getting stuck on lands. No, we don't. Nice and simple, you know? I don't... I'm not loving Baron, but I guess he's cool for interaction with Brazen Borrower. RNG. What's RNG mean? <coughs> Right. This looks good. Whatever. No green, but we can quench. 
early interaction, as they say. And we can just cycle Shark Tycoon. I'm going to keep it. Random number generation. It screwed us. It did. Oh my gosh, it's 4 o'clock already. Okay. We're playing against Sifreed. Do we cycle for the land? I guess not yet. I'd rather get a shark for one than a shark for zero. Helps when you're mana swamped. Ah, I see that. I don't think so, Mr. Boro Cycling. Oh, no, 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 not today, not today. All right, I'm going to play this tapped. And then, yeah, because holding up three is not going to do me no good. Oh, I guess we could have made a shark for one, but we're not going to. We're going to hold on to that. No creatures, no plays. Mana swamped, I bounce, draw, counter. Love it. Oh boy, oh boy, they're gonna be in trouble when I finally, finally get a green. Should I add another green land, island in here? No, sorry. <laughs> Forest. Uh, I could be super mean and counter it, but then it goes to their graveyard. Goodbye, Valiant Rescuer. You did your best. Yeah, I guess I could have shut down their healer. Shutting everything down is super frustrating. Okay, so I could enter this not tapped and then um, rewind and then night pack ambusher. Look at this handful of flash and instant speed. Ooh, ooh, you love to see it. Yeah, that sounds like awesome. Man, I guess I'll just play the night pack. You've been ambushed. Have I voiced any characters in anything? I uh, was a character named Sophie Gray in South Park last season. We can't play any spells on our turn, of course. It was very cool. Because uh, I do board game tutorials. And, uh, you know. Um, turns out Trey Parker's a fan of uh, board games. Who would have thought? Ooh, your Zenith Flare don't work on my counters. <laughs> Th 
they did on board. The South Park video is private? What do you mean? Uh, you can find a clip on my website, thebeccascott.com. Justin, what did you do? What did you do? Well, how would you post that? I'm already gay is the best response to anything. <laughs> oh, you found a picture? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got I got pictures for you. Why did you? Caitlin, you say my favorite things. Oh, uh, sprinkles, I love you. <laughs> Y'all so fun. You could even grow spiral and still get your double green. Oh man, we got them. We got them. Hey, you know what I love about Simic Flash? Winning. I love winning about it. Oh, you got pictures for me? My DMs are open, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about this light. I changed it to romance. It's purple now. Okay, we got some fabled piastages, uh, which we can grow spiral. Yeah, I just liked your Instagram post from five years ago and I have no shame. I don't check likes uh, enough on my photos but I wonder how far back you know it's a it's an interesting ability on Instagram that you can see when people like your photos all in one spot oh man my favorite youtuber has a video like how about you just like like a really old photo on his Instagram he'll be into it <laughs> favorite line okay I'm sorry, did I pass my turn without playing a land? Is that what I did? I could scry. Nah. Look, I'm really good at hitting the space bar, so that might have happened. Okay, you're the pro. <laughs> Uh-oh. That may have cost me a game. Well, I knew there would be another breeding pool, which is why I didn't go for that one. Oops. Hanged Executioner, why? Guess what? I got to preview that card. My only card preview. Although, I think I'm getting one in the future. Why, yes, yes, I will. Thank you for asking. No, not yet. Hold on. Okay, so we got a grain source. We got... It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, so many breeding pools. So we'll just leave up Frilled Mystic and chill because we don't know what they're up to. Who hanged the executioner? Seems wrong, right? The executioner becomes the executionee. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Absolutely not staggering insight. Do they have a veto? They have a veto. They totally have a veto. Oh my god. <laughs> That was a painful inhalation I just did. Uh, you already sent me that short film. I'm a changed person now. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know my power. Okay. Uh, so much land. And nothing to do with it. I'm just gonna do this to shuffle the deck a little. We're gonna get 
nether island and then we're gonna play baron and hold up brazen borrower oh vetoes are only good versus non-creature spells of course of course so they might still have a veto all right oh i bounced my frilled mystic so i swing with it first <laughs> I figured it out, Sam. I figured it out moments before your message came through. <laughs> your terminology kills me. You sent that film to me, a gay. <laughs> like that is a normal thing. Look, to be fair, I haven't even watched the film except on silent. Because you know what? If the body language is off, it's all off. I don't like to hear my own voice. When I'm editing my videos, I edit them in double speed. Uh, okay. So. That's a turn, huh? That's a turn. Let's draw that card. Oh my god, I love drawing cards. Okay. You knew that. You asked for my acting work. I think of it objectively. Looking at the acting performance. I, uh, now I realize, you're right. It is a uh, sexy subject matter, and I am wearing underwear in it, and it was rude of me to do that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we'll let that resolve. And then, you know what? We could send it back, but also, I'm at 16 life, so I don't really care. Gosh, but I don't have much else to do. <laughs> I mean, it's annoying to slow them down and throw away their sentinel's eyes, so let's just do it. I know they get a 1-1, but I don't care. Eek out the veto. God's willing. Blue. Okay. Well, now they don't have it. <laughs> oh gosh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a short film. It's artistic. I'm just kidding. I was being ironic when I said artistic, by the way. I realized that may not be clear. Okay. So, I guess we just hold up our, uh, counters I mean I don't care about this guy do I swing yeah cuz they have flying get aggressive get mad I'm feeling it hey hagbart what film are we talking about? Oh gosh, it's called Just Us Girls. Uh, I don't know if it's the finished version and whether I should publicize said short film. Uh, I should talk to the director about that. Hmm, what are you gonna play? They have so many untapped lands. God dang it. I guess I just play my frilled mystic, right? Or are they leaving up a counter? Ugh. Well, there's another one. So, we fable our passage. Let's see. I liked your anime picture. I did. It was very accurate. It made me smile. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead. So, should I play my other Baron as just a body? And then bounce the other Baron? For the card draw? Oh yeah, yeah. They're legendary, right, 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 right,
Yeah, yeah, I could drop that mystic. But I might as well do it on their turn. Oh my god. Google. <laughs> you Google Just Us Girls and the first result is a Bible study group? Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know if that's an appropriate Patreon reward or if it's um, too uh, only fancy. It's not a dirty, sharp film by any means. Oh my god, where is this conversation going? <laughs> hey, non-binary miss. I love saying that in like a sweet voice. <laughs> oh, non-binary miss. Mmm... I will play for Old Mystic by their instep. What are they doing with getting me down to seven life? I don't like that. They might have a veto, but it won't work here. Oh gosh, but I can't rewind it. Too bad I missed my first land drop. It's not dirty. I'm just gay. <laughs> Caitlin, I love when you yell at me in all caps. <laughs> it doesn't make me uncomfortable to be only fancy about it. I just, um, I don't want to invite the wrong kind of attention, you know, because I feel like I'm very lucky in that, uh, I, I don't see a lot of trolls around these parts, you know? It's a lucky and rare thing on the internets. Uh... Okay, so... Swing, then Baron. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And we'll Baron our Freld guy. Yes, I'm sure. Thank you, I'll keep this one. I'll bounce this guy. Your card can go away, I don't like it. I'll get a castle down. And then, uh, well they know that I have it, but I guess we'll just chill. I'm a troll too, as in Rupti. <laughs> oh gosh. Why would you do that? Of course I'm going to counter you. Okay, two turn clock. I need a flyer. I need Uro, or a shark would do. Okay. Uro, please. I think instead of Frilled Mystic, well, if I Frilled Mystic them, then I win. Yeah? Unless they have a bounce or another, they might have another spell. Uh, hmm, hmm. enough to scry. Mama wanna scry. No. Just kidding. I didn't count. That's not that's not worth my time. Do not shock myself. Okay. What's happening if I swing? 
Yeah, I think that they have something and I can counter it. What are they doing? <laughs> Yay! Sorry, I got too loud for the ASMR stream. We got lethal. Moving up the ranks. Gonna be silver tier four. All right. Uh, oh, gosh. We can only go... I said that I was going offline at four in order to raid, but guess what? I'm having way too much fun with Sam's deck. Uh, so, yeah, we can get the Mythic before the reset. Guess what? I'm only going to be playing this deck forever. I should play traditional. Why are you a man, Becca? Oh, uh, because I let Mel choose my image and she liked this one because it looks like Jason Momoa. Or it might have been Maruye. Uh, you're still a diamond to me, Mom. Aw, oh, thank you. Okay, we got three lamps. We got the growth spiral. This looks perfect. I guess we'll do a temple first. Get that little scry in there. Uh, and I think I want land. I don't think I want another Baron. I already have one. Not everyone can be Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa should be for birthdays and special occasions. I really love that ad series where they make Jason Momoa look really ugly. It's so funny. Whoever is the marketing person that was like, you know what's gonna sell product? Take the hottest man in the world and make him less hot. Oh, you're totally getting disputed, baby boy. Oh, Han? Sorry, I don't know your gender identity, but I'm gonna call you a baby boy. Okay, so let's Fabled Passage because we're gonna grow Spiral. Mel can have a little Jason Momoa as a treat. That's fair. He is a treat. Where's our Uro? We never get an opening hand Uro. I think I'll take the blue. And that's going to be just a land and a pass turn. Thank you. Are they copying our deck? That's the question. No, they've got white. Jace is a baby boy, so your choice is valid. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for looking for that for me. Akoto Roku. It's fun to say. Ooh. Ooh. That's got a heart. Hurt! Oh my god, just watch beautiful Nissa just disintegrate like that. Okay, I really want to play Uro, but I can't. But I can't. But one more land. Ooh, they're done. I said it slowly and very cautiously, but correctly. That's nice. <laughs> I can't say the same for Sam. Sam Mononoke. Sorry, Sam, but I love your deck. Thank you. Fuck, Becca. Why did I do that? No, I don't want you to have that. I resolve the... Sometimes I just uh, absentmindedly press spacebar, forgetting I have counters. Okay, we need to leave up two blue. And that's just fine. Do that. Nine problemo. That's what I call... 
Ben Aleman. I'm getting slap happy, folks. <gasps> oh, Akoto! 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 Raku, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Yeah, sub hype. Uh oh. <laughs> One minute later, and I would have gift subbed you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Justin. Gifting those subs. <laughs> Gifted a total of 51 subs. Are you insane, Justin? That's crazy. Love you. Okay, emergency powers. Your go. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, I would say no. <laughs> Let me think. Okay. Um, no. Uh, great. So, if we rewind... Yeah, I think we just sit tight. Right? We could bounce a frilled mystic. That's fun. I'm just doing it just for kicks now. Was that a smart thing to do? I don't know. I don't know. I love Twitch because in like any channel, I'll be like, oh no, my sub ran out and then go to fix it. But <laughs> someone snipes me. <laughs> I love it. It's the best. Oh, okay. Are they trying to trick me because they have something awesome right here? Yeah, they are. So we're going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. You didn't know I could do that. You didn't know about that. Well, no. I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> yeah. I'm against all these plans you have. Okay. So. That leaves us. Ooh. Unable to freely mystic. So let's go ahead and do this Uro. Let's swing first. I guess I could shark. And what will you do? Oh, wow. Look at these pride emotes. That's awesome. Okay. Counter that. If you have a board wipe, I swear to. Oh no, they have an arrow. They have an arrow. Game Heart over, man. I must train harder. This is when you scoop, my friend. Oh, I see. They grabbed the. Yeah. Okay. Hey, play to the last beat. Sure, 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 sure. This deck is insane. I love your deck so much, Sammy. Three filled wrist mystics? No. Mercy. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love the two hands with the heart. Uh, it's my favorite. Oh, goodness me, friends. Goodness me. You love his what so much? I don't know what I said, Caitlin. You can't hold me to this. Do I have makeup on my face? I'm using this as my mirror. Somebody smudged her mascara. Alright guys, we're, we're done at 4.30 because I'm hungry. <laughs> and it's snack time. You like these smooth jazz tunes? Okay, um, we don't have a growth spiral, but we do have all of the land. They're playing Yurian. 80 cards! You joking my ass? Okay, let's see.
It don't matter what we choose. Because we ain't got no plays. We're just setting up. <sighs> Should I be super rude? I don't want them to draw a card. Disruption. That was stupid. It was my turn. <gasps> <laughs> I haven't saved it on those marks. And no, I'm not taking questions at this time. I sent a screenshot to someone for something. <laughs> Just those girls rough. <laughs> it's a rough cut. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I would love to raid Paula, but guess what? I have promised Jake Michaels that we will raid Good Time Society. And I gotta keep it in the family. So, I have nothing to play at this time. This game is a shame. Yikes. Didn't I say get a cliff earlier? I do love my cliff bars. Oh man, I made the best tuna melt earlier. I was too impatient to let the cheese really melt, but it was toasty. <gasps> I streamed for six hours last night and finally beat the last of two. The, the last of us? Action. What's the last? Oh, the last of us two. I get it. I get it. I get it now. Uh, yeah, I saw, I think you had an Instagram post that said that. Oh man, I would love to play last of us two so much, but I feel like I can't buy a PS4 and I don't have one. And the PS5 is coming out. This year, I'm just, I'm just upset. I'm distraught. And you know what? I really wish that they would have timed its uh, release with the release of the new system. That's a sentence that took me way too long to say. I was thinking, I was thinking about other things. Namely, how I don't have any action in this game. Okay, uh, is it our turn or their turn? It's my turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go right ahead. Mm -hmm. The Ramones Pet Cemetery. <laughs> the game will still be bad when you get around to playing it. Why is it bad? I, I'm not taking constructive criticism at this time. Oh, God. I love it. Oh man, you make an interesting point, Critter Nation. I could still play when the PS5 comes out because everyone will have forgotten and I'll be ready to relive it. Oh man, yeah, I I have an Xbox and honestly I don't play very much because I'm just playing Magic all the time. <laughs> Past intern, still my instep? This opponent is taking their sweet ass time. I'm not a fan. I guess I'm doing the exact same thing. Oh, listen, gameplay is fine. Performances were great. It's a stunning game. It makes me sad, not in a good way. That's all fair. God, okay. Please. <gasps> Yay! Okay, well, that worked. We're going to play an island, and then we're going to pass the turn. Do we go for face or we go for Narset? I'm really torn. Uh, I know that it's probably correct to go for Narset, but I don't want to. I, I wasn't gonna draw two cards anyway. And if I use the cycle, oh God, choices. I know this is not correct, but I...
It ruined the legacy of the first game. Oh my gosh. Caitlin, did you already play through all of two? Oh my gosh, M21 is nice. It didn't change anything too drastically uh, because the core sets aren't supposed to, but it did add some nice support to existing decks. You know what? I never played the first Last of Us fully. Confession. Confession. Oh, happy to plan. I'm just peeping over here. And, uh, oh, thank you so much for the compliment on my voice. It's the microphone. Honestly, I feel like it doesn't sound as good today for some reason. Maybe it's because of my angle on the microphone. Okay, hold on. Or maybe it's because I've been rearranging my room. Oh, that made it worse. Okay. I think they've got so much up. What do I do? Just chill. You know what? I don't have a counter. I'm lost on what to do here. Do I play untapped? Why would I do that? For a shark? I guess. <laughs> you thought I was going to armpit fart? I wouldn't put it past me. Just chill. Let Ambusher do the work. Yeah, but... Okay. I guess, um... I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, ooh, no to that. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Well, it's got in the way of me now casting spells on my turn. Boo. Are they going to counter my counter? Oh, they can't because it's a creature. Okay. Well, I didn't get a 3-3 token here. But I will be drawing cards someday. Let me tell you. My mind needs a rest. Uh, oops. Okay. Oh dang. She got no counter. She gonna get bounced by Teferi. I ended up feeling for characters that I didn't like at first and being a little pissed at characters that I did like. Interesting. My best friend loved the game. My opinions. Who's your best friend? I'm jealous. <laughs> Aww. Well, shoot. If I play it, Caitlin's never going to pop in chat. Except maybe to say, this is the part I hate the most. <laughs> Oh shoot, okay, after this game, we gonna do a little raid. Please, please, please stick around for the raid. Please give uh, your love and your follow to Good Time Society on Twitch. My business partner, Jake Michaels. Uh-oh, they double bounce those. Oh gosh, so many scries, so many draws. Um, is streaming on that account? I watched a 12 hour stream of it on launch day for the streamer, not the game. Must be damn good streamer. <laughs> Unlike me who can't say the word streamer. Oh goodness, goodness me. I need it to be my turn, please. No, you can't judge it that harshly if you haven't played till the end. Okay, fair enough, Caitlin. I'll take that. Okay, uh, exp what, elaborate, what is HCD? I should know these things. 
Uh, okay, so I can do nothing, and then I will do nothing on my turn. Do I just get through three by killing something? Ugh. But they're gonna get in with four. Horizon Zero Dawn. I knew that. I knew that. I knew it was this game that I've heard a lot about. Uh, if I had stopped the way halfway point, I would have just been that said that was stupid. If I hadn't finished it, I would have had bad feelings too. Oh, you gotta get to the end. Just like Train to Busan. <laughs> <laughs> which we watched on movie night. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? I respect your opinion, Caitlin. You're allowed. Train to Busan is all the fries. Oh my god. It's a horror movie. The guy who did Parasite. Bong? Jung Ho Bong? I'm probably fucking up his name. I gotta look it up now. The record of Parasite win all the awards. Freaking love Parasite. Train to Busan was so amazing. Bong Junho. ho Okay, well, I had the syllables right. I just switched them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's pass to those attackers. And we're going to shirk Typhoon for five. And then we're going to kill your Yurion. Dang it, they've got a counter. What do I do? I'm just going to shark. I'm sure they have a counter. But you know what? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Aye, you shark. <laughs> you haven't finished Last of Us 1. Well, get on it. You've got you've only spent 6 years dawdling. Gratuitous torture porn. Honestly, sounds like something I'd be into. All right, that shark, he landed. The shark is in the house. Okay, so we could Uro and leave up Frilled Mystic and that's sexy. So, actually no, we want the 3-3. Three, three. That guy, I swear to God, I can't help it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I will sack all this stuff to get through some damage. You gonna block with Yurian? You're gonna regret it. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. You know what? I say no to that. Oh, I should have rewound. I should have rewound, but I can still quench. Oh my god, it's gonna send their brazen borrower to the trash! Hmm. Okay, take that action. Thank you. All right, you could team up on my frilled mystic and then you can jump block my wolf, but I'm gonna get another wolf. Horizon Zero Dawn was so good, um, but I'm straight up not good enough at video games to play it. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh, I have a double block. You know what? I don't know if that's right. Okay, so. We've already played spells on our turn. I guess I just wanna leave up Quench on their turn. Or is it too late? They've got so much mana. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> train to Busan was like the train of poor decision making. Oh, no thank you. 
That's where I use my quench. Thanks for giving me the target. If I enter full control, then maybe they'll think I have a mystical dispute. Is that rude? Mm, yeah, okay, I'll allow it. Let's slow this down. I do that with this deck all the time. I think it's not allowed in tournament play. Ooh. Let's try you know this. what? They did it. They did it. All right. I'm I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch a little Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh my god, why would they use all their removal spells when I don't have my counters up? Rude. Is that an emote? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Should have let them get rid of it on my turn, ha. Huh? Okay, so... We've got Rewind. Here's what we do. We're gonna kill to fairy. And then we're gonna bounce Frilled Mystic. And then we can rewind on their turn and then Frilled Mystic again. Oh, why would they do that? Okay. Now there's what? no reason not to. Uh, okay, so now Baron, he come to... Hello, I put Frill Mystic here. And then we in turn. Hmm. Oh my. You've made things expensive, haven't you? Oops, to that. I guess we're just gonna grow spiral. <laughs> oh. Well, they don't have a board wiper, they would have used it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, it's a creature! <gasps> He's a creature! Thanks, Oku. Akudo. Okodo. Okodo. I'm so sorry, I got it right the first time. And now, you, you can, you can remove your sub. I see. I know you sub for one reason, it's because I said your name right, and I've, I've, I've ruined it. Okay, so they are regretting that they forgot it wasn't a non-creature spell. Absorb is still a thing. And they have Baron in their deck. That's interesting. And in the Azorius control your own deck. Oh my gosh, my tummy's grumbling. All right, let's just win this game. And then we'll go party. Maze Mine Tome. Put a page counter on it to scry. Put a page counter on it to draw and pay two. And then there, there are four or more page counters. Exile, if you do, gain four life. Interesting. Well, I don't plan on letting you live that long. So, oh shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot. They get to fairy back. Or Nambi. 
another creature to its owner's hand. Uh oh. But they don't want to return these to my hand. Right on schedule. Okay. Now what? I used to know his test study books. What do you mean, Tethered Raven? What do you mean? Oh my gosh. Gain to life? Lame. Why was I not able... Oh, shoot. Teferi. Are you Teferi and me? No, I am not Boo. making this up as I go. Boo. Just let me win. I have all these people on my side. They want me to win. You and your bird serpent. Get out of here. Don't give me rope. Ugh. You gotta update your sub goal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What What do we update it to? Y'all broke it. Y'all broke it. <sighs> I'm real mad at them. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I guess I should have grow spiraled. Shoot. <laughs> oh yeah, new stream. New stream, I see. New month. You know what? You're not wrong. Although, uh, because I'm lazy, I did make it to the end of July. <laughs> but I guess, uh, I guess Justin and Hubs can't be stopped with their sub gift in. Okay, we scry. The art was a black woman on the original Teferi's puzzle box. Interesting. I get... Uh, uh, this isn't going to help me. I need removal. What do I do? What do I do? Ooh, they're tapped out. Okay. So, if I do that, if I Uro, I could also Night Pack Ambusher, right? Uh, I need to leave up those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Hello? Oh my god, I don't have enough in my... Ugh! <gasps> What do I do? You have to drop the ambusher and he has to answer. Okay, you got that answer? Mm. They've got a bounce onto fairy. <laughs> Oh, I can't cast Spiral on my turn, of course. Well, I can do it during Urian. Urian's big old flash. This is gonna be insane. I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> All right, last game of the day and... Did our best. I think we played well, and we had a window, and then they Teferi'd. <laughs> oh, the passability on Teferi makes me very nothing. excited for him to rotate out. Yeah, let's let Teferi be gender fluid. Although, you know, real into this gender fluid. Idris Elba. 
Um, they actually made it way too close to Idris Elba in the um, in the original art, and they tried to like make it slightly less Idris Elba because somebody used that as their inspiration, and then it was just like completely that. Okay, uh, we're gonna go full control, and then we're gonna throw spiral. That didn't work. Ooh. Oh, of course. Okay, so. They're tapped out. Opponent is so annoying. Yeah, to three fairy, he rough. I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Keelan, you are more than welcome to uh, <laughs> start talking about magic. Hey, look, if you see pretty cards, that's half magic is anyway. <gasps> oh, shoot. They bounce themselves. Evil. This game's gonna go on for years. You just let me know if you're Do I just scoop too. out of frustration? They are technically the worst. You know? You know what I mean? Oh god, this is where it goes off. Mm-hmm. Guess what? They get the good game, and what I be my mean by that is go suck a D, fool. Ah, oh, she can't leave the game if it never ends. Well, 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 since we've got the big screen, let's hop on in there. Hey, folks, you ready for a party? I know I am. Uh, can you hear? Oh, good, good, good. Glad the music's still there. Well, 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 that went 20 minutes longer than I meant it to. And now we're going to raid Jake, so please stick around. Give him a little love and chat. Spam him all the emotes. Becca's Rekka hype. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Kenji, thank you for the good night and good dinner. Um, it's been awesome hanging out with you guys. Thanks so much for your deck, Sam. I really, really loved playing it, and I'm going to continue to play it. I love you more than anything, Caitlin. Oh, I love you, Sprinkles. Okay, so let's make sure we raid him. And you know what? I think I'm going to put my rant about UBI up somewhere because I feel it in my heart. Okay, let's get to Raiden. Take care.